dear students today we are going to see how the p q r s t waves are formed before i tell you about this p q r s t waves i should tell you the basics on which the formation of these p q r s t waves depend upon we will see the conduction of the wave through the cells the myocardial cell if is a small cell and in between the two cells there are less gap junctions i am repeating the cell is small with less gap junctions the conduction through such a tissue will be slow on the other hand if the cell is a long cell and in between two cells there are many gap junctions naturally this cell will be a fast conducting cell in the heart we can divide the cells into three type of conducting cells one regular myocardial cell which is contracting and relaxing we can call it a moderate conducting cell the conduction will be of moderate velocity then the purkinje's fibers these are the long cells having multiple gap junctions and that's why these cells are very fast conducting cells and the cells in the av node are very small and are having very less gap junctions and that's why the cells in the av node are slow conductors now we are having three type of cells one the cells of av node which are very slow conductors the regular myocardial cells which are contracting cells those are moderate conductors and the cells of purkinje's fibers the bundle of heads right and left branches and the purkinje's fiber these are the fastest conducting cells naturally will take lesser amount of time to conduct the impulse this is all about the different conducting cells in the heart now we should know how the impulse is conducted all of you know the impulse starts at sa node from over the atria it will come to av node from the av node it will pass to bundle of heads then right and left branches the left branch again divide into anterior fascicle and posterior fascicle and lastly arkinjes fibers this is the normal conduction system of the heart now there are some peculiarities in the heart there is the fibrous tissue in between the atria and the ventricles the only part from which the wave of contraction from the atria passes to the ventricle is av node all the impulse generating in the atria will not pass to the ventricle except from a small area that is known as av node in simple language the impulse from the atria passes to the ventricle only through av node all other tissue in between the atria and the ventricle is completely fibrous from the av node it will pass to bundle of heads then right and left branches and then to the purkinje's fibers second important thing is about the septum the septum of the ventricle depolarizes before the ventricles and depolarization of the septum is from left side of the septum to right side of the septum if you go into the details of this septum the left part especially the upper left part of the septum it's totally fibrous the lower and the left portion of the septum is muscular this is important for the depolarization of the septum now if you see the spreading of the purkinje's fiber they practically do not cover the basal part of the ventricles the main ventricular portion is covered by the purkinje's fibers but the basal portion of the ventricle is not covered 
by the Purkinje's fiber. And dear students, the contraction of the ventricle practically takes place in three events. One is a septal depolarization. Then second is main ventricular depolarization. And a third is basal ventricular depolarization.